This happened to me when I was working at McDonald's. My boss assigned a schedule amongst our staff. I was unfortunately scheduled for the night shift on Fridays. I didn't usually mind as we didn't get a whole lot of business around this time of night. My boss was pretty laid back and didn't mind if I went on my phone during business hours, so long as I got all my work done. I remember dozing off repeatedly due to the fact that I wasn't fully acclimated with the night shift hours. Psst. That's when I heard someone making a psst sound, the kind of sound you make when you try to draw someone's attention. I notice a customer trying to make an order outside, so I quickly greet them with my usual, Hi, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order? I then heard a man say, One Whopper, please? Yes, I would like one Whopper, please? I couldn't tell if he was being a smartass or not, so I ended up saying, This isn't Burger King, sir. We don't serve that here. I heard him chuckling profusely after I said that. I quickly checked the security camera, only to see a clown. The clown was standing in front of the drive through menu without a car. It's not Halloween, why the hell is this guy dressed up like that? I really didn't want to serve this guy, so I decided to use our company policy as a plausible excuse for him to exit the premises. Hi sir, unfortunately you need to be in a vehicle in order to purchase something here. If you don't have a Whopper, I'll take a Baconator instead. <laughs> I now could tell this guy was some random psycho harassing me. I instinctively yelled, Get the hell out of here before I call the cops! I cautiously stick my head out the window, only to see the clown no longer there. A couple hours later, near the end of my shift, I notify my boss and fellow employees regarding the situation. They all dismiss my accusations by saying ignorant things like, Did you get his autograph? Or, It was probably some guy that thought it was Halloween. I annoyingly pretend to be amused and head home. The following Friday, it was my time to work the night shift again. I really, really dreaded working this shift, especially after what transpired that day. I tried to convince myself that it would be highly unlikely that I encounter that clown again. As time went on, I remember dozing off as I get startled by another psss sound. I urgently check the security camera, but don't see anyone present. At this point, I genuinely thought I was hearing things due to my subconscious mind thinking about the clown. My paranoia must have been at the peak of its height. That's when I turn my head towards the drive through window, only to see the clown staring dead at me. <laughs> if you don't make me a Big Mac, I will kill you. Trevor. <laughs> my heart sank to my stomach. The clown knew my name. I immediately grabbed my cell phone to call the cops, but my hands were trembling so much that I actually wasn't capable of dialing anything. The clown started banging his head on the glass while screaming my name, Trevor, repeatedly. Trevor, 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 I am not loving it! Trevor, 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 Trevor! I see blood dripping down from his head. I started shouting from the top of my lungs, Leave me alone or I will call the cops! The clown runs away as another car approaches the drive through lot. I stupidly resume work and wait for my boss to come in. Upon his arrival, I explain the entire situation to him. He then dismisses me by saying, Don't sweat it, kid. It was probably some drunk. You can go home now. As he was talking, I noticed a cut on his forehead. I could even see blood start to drip from it. No, 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 it, it can't be. Goodbye, Trevor. No, no, no! Ha <laughs> <laughs>